So this happened from asteroids, right? At least that's what we've been programmed to believe. But what if I told you that this was a phenomenon that has happened from below and not something that fell from above? Isn't it interesting that what we have thought to be craters look a lot like geysers? Now let's compare both side by side. Pretty similar, right? Now, don't you find it strange that if these were from the impact of meteors, that no such thing is ever by or around these craters? Check out what Genesis 7:11 says. It says, in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. Are you following me? God opened up the windows of heaven and water came out through the firmament and also it sprung up from the ground. Think about these as giant geysers that erupted at the time of the flood. Satan, the God of this world and those who are serving his purpose are trying to cover up the fact that God has judged the world before by a flood. And as 2 Peter says, that these scoffers are willingly ignorant that by the word of God the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water whereby the world that then was being overflowed by water perished. They deny the flood because if that happened then so will his judgment by fire later come to pass. These large craters are also proof of a flood. Nothing is getting in or out until God cracks that sky open and he returns a second time. The evidence is all around us if you have eyes to see.